Being rooted in the Word actually means a lot different things to us today as it did about six years ago. We went through a time in our marriage where we weren't rooted in the Word and we really don't even, we woke up one day and didn't realize how we got to this point in our marriage where you know we were willing to give up the hopes and dreams for our future. We were sitting at a restaurant one night, um, really towards the what we kind of deemed the end of our marriage. And um, <laughs> Jason told me that he didn't love me. And when that happened, it was a surprise. I, but it was because I was clouded with selfishness and um, busyness that I allowed to um, control me. It was a surprise because I didn't allow myself to see it. It was just such a matter of um, being selfish myself and feeling like I deserved more because that's what the world tends to tell us. And because I wasn't spending time um, and had not developed a relationship um, with God like, like I knew I should, I didn't have anything to combat that. I mean, we had met with attorneys and all that stuff to where I mean, it was looking like that was going to be our future. Um, it is amazing to me how God changed my heart. And I am so very thankful that He did. And I'm, I'm very thankful that He allowed Jason's eyes to be opened to see some of the changes that I was making in myself. That God was making in me, not me, for myself. God definitely restored our marriage. We've come so far, I just, I look back and um, to know six years, um, it, I, I really don't even recognize who I was in the past. and I, I sure don't recognize who Heidi was in the past and our relationship just doesn't look the same. And, um, and walking through that process, being able to do that together, um, where it's not, we're not living out a separate life where we, we are both invested and involved in that. And um, that just wouldn't have happened in the past. So the more time that we spend um, in the Word and studying the Word and, and just praying and asking um, for God to move and for, and for God to reveal Himself to us, um, the more it's slowly revealed. It's looking back on that process, um, we realize those times in our life we, we just weren't spending the time um, in the Word and with God that we needed to. And um, our path to our future had become so clouded and um, God spoke to us um, in a way that um, I don't think either one of us were really prepared for at the time. And um, we were able to hear through all the noise and um, pick up the pieces of, of a, a marriage being held on by a string. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been on that journey ever since. When I open my Bible, and I, His Word just comes alive to me. And whether I'm uh, just having a rough day, I can open up my Bible and He will, you know, it'll, it will, He will speak to me through that. And if I'm having a really good day, I can open up my Bible and, and He will just encourage me and um, sometimes lead me to, to other people or lead me to other women that maybe need prayer or just sometimes just praying that He will just bring me a name that I need to reach out to or something like that. And He has never shorted me on women that, that need prayer and women that just need hope and um, strength to get through another day. We've both gotten really involved mm -hmm. um, with other men in my life and women in her life. And to be honest with you, uh, we couldn't have done it without all of those people in our lives. Mm -hmm. And that's been the one deciding factor for me that has, has helped me is I've had so many people invest personally in my life that I've been able to turn around and invest in other men's lives and create a circle around me that won't allow me to fail. We want everything that we do, we want to glorify.